Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for a, another video, another intuitive spiritual conversation download. If this is your first time coming across my channel, welcome. Come on in. Let's have a conversation. Don't be shy. Maybe you'll decide to like, share, and or subscribe. I wish you peace, love, and light. Nine times out of ten, it's not a coincidence that you're here, that I am here, you are there. We are here together by way of the World Wide Web virtually. Nothing happens by coincidence. Spirit guides you to this platform because this is where you're supposed to be. Maybe there's something here that you need to know about what it is that you need to know more about what you already know. Listen, whatever the circumstance, whatever the situation, whatever the relationship, situationship, by way of confirmation, truth, and clarity that you need, just know I support you in the energy. I do. I know that's a lot. That's a big commitment. Right, That's a huge promise for me to commit to supporting you in the energy, no matter what energy you decide to come in with at our first meeting. Listen, that's how I come in. Whatever it is, my beautiful soul tribe family already knows that's just the way it goes. I got spiritual bars today. I'm feeling pretty good in the spiritual neighborhood. Holy Spirit, just protect me and the beautiful soul tribe family. If you're coming back to the channel, listen, you already know what it is. You know sometimes the intro's a little lengthy, right? Okay, it's the way we kind of raise the vibration and go with the flow and just remind ourselves that we are of love and light. You are my beautiful soul tribe. Listen! Soul tribe. Soul tribe. Soul tribe. conversation. How are you? How am I? We are all well. We are doing well because all is well. All is good. Come on in here. I've been sun gazing y'all. Okay. So I'm high off the sun. It's the truth. I raised a right hand to you. I've been sun gazing. I've been looking at the birds, enjoying nature. Me and nature have a very beautiful relationship. We had a wonderful conversation. I got a lot of clarification and or confirmation. And here I am in spiritual court to talk about love, honey. So the doors for love is open. For those of you that are manifesting a partnership, okay, this partnership could be a partnership with you and your higher self, falling in love with self, falling in love with spirit. What it's doing is it's absolutely creating a beautiful ripple effect by way of the loving ethers to open up the door for more love. The universe is like, okay, we're just gonna give you more of that. We love the way you love on you, the way you love on me, the way I love on you. So the universe is just really bringing all things into beautiful love and balance. We've learned some really good lessons by way of ascension, 555 five, five on the clock, honey. Changes are coming. Uh, again, depending on what side of the wheel that you're on, be that good, bad, or indifferent. Just know that this universe is absolutely supporting your energy. So come on in. Holy Spirit, put a shield of protection around me. Please fill this room. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for divine intervention, truth, and clarity. Shout out to the beautiful divine ancestors who are free because we are now leading our lives with love. We have broken every single generational curse, and we are so glad about that. Congratulations. I just heard the ether say on your spiritual graduation. So it is so. Let there be peace, love, and light. I call upon Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel to help me speak the truth. 
Archangel Raphael to bring peace and healing no matter what comes out here today in the cards. I pray that every human being has a spirit of discernment and intuition so they can feel what they need to take with them and what they need to leave for somebody else to take. That is my spiritual disclaimer. Welcome to spiritual court. We've all been sworn in. Nobody's exempt. Come on in. Let's just get to the truth. And so shall it be. And it is. Listen, Holy Spirit, I heard love is in the air. Love is in the air, air, air. Holy Spirit, love is in the air. What's going on with love being in the air? Something's in the air. Individual efforts. Solo moves. You know what it's telling me? That somebody that you left behind is going through a very major awakening, okay? When, when I feel like love is in the air, I'm getting self-love first. Self-preservation, right? Okay. But somebody wants to come and extend a love contract to you by way of either you being a great example of unconditional love, loving them in spite of, even if you walked away from them, you learn to forgive and love. You found love in the middle of a broken space, a broken place. Why did I hear that? I just heard, we found love in a hopeless space. Is that Rihanna? I just heard that. Hopeless space. Yeah, you found love in the middle of a hopeless space. Shout out to the newcomers. Sometimes you could get a little tarot uh, musical. <laughs> I might just sing a song, okay? Uh, don't fret. Uh, you know, it is a part of my spiritual contract. And I love that about me and the divine that I get to sing on commercial breaks because sometimes life just needs a commercial break. You know what I mean? So come on in. Yeah, this could have been somebody that you showed tough love to. I just heard. Be this a family member, a lover, a friend. Eight of Cups is you going on a divine journey using head over heart energy with the King of Swords. Sometimes the King of Swords gets a bad rap, y'all. You know, sometimes people see the King of Swords as somebody that's cold. and But the King of Swords in the upright is very unbiased. They make judgments based on self-preservation. Not only do they use head over heart, you know, by way of making a decision energetically, they, uh, you know, King of Swords energy... They're fair. The sword of truth, that is the ace of swords in their hand. They see things very clearly. They think before they speak. They think before they move. They take their time. They consider logic, what's logical, right? What's rational, what's gonna make sense. And they know how to control their emotions. Thank you, spirit. Thank you for divine intervention. So yeah, I heard love. Somebody wants, okay, clarify individual efforts. This person, whoever this person is that you showed love to, doesn't matter if it was a friendship, family ship, situation ship, third party ship, whatever was going on. Maybe you were in a third party unknowingly. Whatever the circumstances, you had to walk away. The fact that you chose yourself and showed yourself love is now inspiring somebody to do the same. Okay, so it's a good copycat energy. It's a good, you know, love is contagious type of an energy. You rubbed off on somebody. I just heard you left a lasting impression. Okay, Holy Spirit. Somebody could be taking a vow of celibacy. Okay, celibacy is not always just abstaining from sex. Okay, it could be just abstaining from smoking, drinking, or anything that somebody feels that they're overindulging in. Something that somebody could feel is out of control. Somebody's going within. Congratulations. Whatever your assignment was with that person, those people, be that a child. I just heard a child too, young adult, okay? They got the message, divine interventions at play. The fact that you had to show tough love left them to stand on their own and they leaned possibly to their own understanding and they got a real rude awakening, but I just heard love is here. It's standing by. Clarify individual efforts. Show us what we need to see. Divine angels, Archangel Michael, love is here. Yeah, page of cups. This could represent a child too. Somebody was very immature emotionally and they're realizing that whatever games they were playing to try to get your attention, you know, uh, to bother you, irritation, whatever this is, this could be a child or somebody that was acting childish, or maybe it's a combination of the two, uh, could be a full grown adult that never grew up, okay? That just don't know how to shift those gears, right? Okay, somebody's very immature and they're realizing that now. Somebody wants to apologize, individual efforts, clarify love is here standing by. Yeah, they're watching you. Page of Swords, somebody's watching you taking notes. 
Somebody, somebody's watching you choose yourself and loving yourself really does look good on you. So they're checking you out. This could be new love too. This could be love as in love, love like a partnership. Okay. And then somebody that you left behind. I feel like everybody's watching you that you've ever encountered. Be that one way or the other. Somebody could be having dreams about you. Okay. Clarify. I just heard lost memories. Okay. Somebody could re be remembering something about you. Ten of Cups. Dream state. Piscean energy. Somebody's dreaming. This could be family members. I'm getting a child as well. Love is here standing by. Somebody you also had a divine love contract with. And they could have child... I don't know. You offered your cup of love. They offered you some bullshit and it just never lined up and you walked away. The king of swords done that. So, okay. We got to control our emotions here. Clarify individual efforts. Love is here. Standing by. Love is here. Holy Spirit. I channeled a song. Yeah. Look, somebody is now thinking of what life is going to be like. They're looking towards the future by way of love, somebody's laying their sword down, laying down their anger, laying down their bitterness. Foresight is about preparing for a new version of self, loving self. I'm getting a lot of love energy. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, somebody wants to expand their horizon by way of maybe they had like a fixed belief. I just heard expand their horizon by way of spirituality. Uh, maybe you were on a certain uh, you know, timeline by way of meditation or something like that. And somebody fully didn't understand that at the time. Okay. Child, woo, the cards are carding. Love is here standing by. Yeah, look. Somebody was very childish. I'm getting childlike energy too as well. I just heard karmic child. Okay. Shout out to the people that have had karmic lovers and co-created with the karmic child. Okay. What does that mean? You know, nobody talks about the karmic children. <laughs> I don't know why. Karmic children are people that you co-created in a karmic situation that was supposed to be a lesson and maybe you stayed a little too long or maybe somebody trapped you or maybe they did magic and tried to co-create with you so that they could have a soul tie. And so the child is the meat between two slices of bread. Well, in that, when you're dealing with cursed lineages, you now are obligated by way of a soul contract to assist that child in breaking curses. Sometimes it doesn't happen. This is why you find people that are like, look, I had to let my son go. I had to let my daughter go. Sometimes, you know, hey, the child carries on, God forbid, you know, by ways of the darkness of their mother and or father. So that's a karmic child. Somebody that, you know, forced their will onto you to co-create. Okay, doing magic, putting shit in people's drinks to get them to, you know, do the woo wop the chop and the wham bam, thank you, ma'am, to create a child. Is, is, is a karmic situation, okay? So just so y'all know, just as a side note for people that are taking notes, shout out to the people that are taking notes, shout out to the people that take mental note. I'm one of those people. Page of Swords, somebody's watching you, okay? This could be a child. Again, I'm getting I'm getting a man child, a woman child. I'm getting somebody that was, I'm getting a whole bunch of childish people that are watching you now, okay? Clarify individual effort. Somebody's coming towards you. There's some type of communication coming in. Okay, eight of wands, very passionate, very swift decision. Somebody's made a decision to try to be better for themselves and they're trying to move forward with something with you. Three of wands and eight of wands is uh, something that's happening in haste, traveling. Somebody could be trying to find out where you are, to see you. Somebody could prefer to see you in person. Somebody's trying to come to where you are, okay? I just heard I got a lot of love to give. Okay, well, come on in with the love to give. But something is absolutely involving a child, okay? So if you were praying over a child that was kind of eh, giving you a hard time, Spirit is saying, listen, if this is a young adult, a teenager, uh, whatever this is, because I'm getting a young adult, could be a small child as well, okay? To keep praying, okay, but not to allow yourself to be weighed down by decisions that you made to bring this child into the world with a karmic partner, I'm just going to be honest, or whoever you co-created with, uh, you have the best version of that child for so long, for however long you're supposed to have that child, and then source is saying, surrender this child to me so that I can show them the way. Because once you've been a great example of what making good mistakes looks like to this, to this child, to these children... 
You're not obligated. I'm going to be honest, child, please. Mm -mm. Nobody's exempt from getting chopped on the block. Karmic child or not. <laughs> Nevertheless, somebody's child uh, is thinking about the past by way of you being a parent. This child could be a new parent, I just heard. And maybe now things are starting to resonate. It's like, oh, I have more compassion for my mother, for my father. Now that I have my own children, that's not for everybody. That is a side note. <laughs> Clarify this love offer, though. Somebody wants to come in and make some type of an offer by way of a proposal. Love is here, honey. It's an emperor energy. 608 on the clock. Somebody want to spin the block. <laughs> Clarify. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Spin the block. Ooh, they're coming up as a night. So somebody from the past is like looking a little wonky. Okay, I'm getting childlike energy. Okay, you could also have a child that wants to come back. Like if somebody didn't have custody of their child, I keep picking up on childlike energy. There's children, children, children. Page, page, page. Uh, even the Six of Cups is a picture, look, of children playing in the garden. Okay, could be a boy and a girl. Two little girls or two little boys or something like that. Whatever the case, somebody's got two children. Okay. Nine of Wands energy is also like somebody doing something quick. What are they doing? Eight of Wands is already speed, rapid action, movement, moving quick, swift change, fast. Somebody's like, I got to go in quick. Somebody could be trying to rush towards you knowing that you could have somebody new coming towards you or they're moving in haste. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Like somebody could be pre like preparing their finances or something. Uh, could be a feminine, could be a masculine. Whatever it is, they're coming towards you to make you some type of an offer. Everybody's watching. Clarified love is here, Holy Spirit. But you got something new coming in too. Yeah, you're in alignment with some new type of, of a timeline. 609 on the clock, nine represents transformation. You've gone through some type of transformation that has you on a different timeline by way of what it is that you're wanting in your life and it's coming in yeah what didn't kill you only made you stronger type of an energy because of that you've learned your lessons close out these cycles you got good luck good karma blessed and highly favored life cycles have been completed test you passed your test destiny is now giving you something beautiful it's coming in there's a turning point there's a change i feel like whatever this change is the shift Okay, paradigm shift I just heard. Whoever these people are you left behind, they can feel it. I just heard you left these people on a hope and a prayer. Listen, that's the way you do it. I'm so proud of y'all. Listen, I'm so freaking proud of y'all. Listen, I'm so proud of y'all. How did you leave him? How did you leave her? How did you leave them? Child, I left them on a hope and a prayer. Somebody need to put that on a t-shirt. Listen, that's real. That's a beautiful reminder. You left these people well. You left them on a hope and a prayer. What they did with that when you left had nothing to do with you. You're guided by source. Self-preservation, individual effort. Somebody's watching you solo dolo, and now they're, they're, they're like copying you. Like, okay, you know, this person is inspiring me. Okay, somebody that will never admit that you're inspiring them. Clarify love is here. Love is here. Child, love is here. Somebody is rushing in so doggone fast, they might hurt themselves. I don't know what the heck this is. Somebody wants to come in and give you this offer so bad, but they're still coming up as a knight. I feel like the universe is blocking somebody. Whatever it is, they know that the time is now. But this is the thing. The time is already passed. It's over. It's done, son. Whatever this is, Ace of Wands. This is new beginning, new love, new fortune, new alignment, inspiration, okay? You're inspiring this person. It's like somebody having an, a, an epiphany, like suddenly, like, oh, oh my God, I was in the presence of somebody that, you know, was showing me unconditional love. Look, Ten of Cups. They could have had the Ten of Cups with you. This could be a relationship, a family situation, whatever it is, somebody is rushing towards you to jump on this timeline. They're in a haste, y'all. When I say somebody's energy is like... <laughs> Like, they shake it. Like, calm your punk ass down. Sit down. Drink some chamomile or something. Take a salt bath. Bitch, and breathe. Something. Uh, 
uh, Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands is quick, fast, fast. They want to communicate fast. What is this? Slow down. Clarify. You got somebody new coming in, though. Temperance is here. Earth Angel Energy. Child. It's a child. It's a young child out here who wants to find you again. I don't know what happened. This could be, this could have been a child that got into some trouble. Page energy, the page energy is coming in. Somebody also is an ex lover that wants to come in, but there's still a page and a knight. What's interesting is their energy is the same as your child. You could have left a childish lover behind and a child as well, child. Temperance is here. Okay, Archangel Michael's in the building. Somebody's praying for a second chance. Somebody is praying. I'm not going to even say they're praying. They're begging the universe. Somebody is begging on hands and knees. There could be dents in the floor, child, from them praying so much for something to come into balance. Somebody is like fighting to find themselves, their higher selves. Somebody's trying to remember what you told them. They're learning from you, okay? I feel like somebody really took you for granted. Page energy, Lord have mercy. If one more page. I just heard when you feel like you need to talk to this person the same way you talk to your children, you're in page energy, period. No adult should ever be like in page energy. Like if I got to use the same words I use when I talk to my young adult son or daughter, it's a problem. Page, night, night, in, in, little, little rushy rush, little rushy rushes. First of all, they're rushing the process of self-love and getting it together, which makes me believe that somebody's got motive because you're in this wheel of fortune, ace of wands, energy, temperance, energy. Like, what is your motive, uh, honey? Like, no, mm, you got to do the word. You can't even approach this level. Somebody's getting blocked by the universe and child, they just charging at the wind, jumping on the next bus. Which way are they going? They just trying to go where you going and they can't make it to where you are because they have too much that they need to do. Somebody is contemplating a plan. Four of swords is like rest soul searching finding meaning what's my purpose okay maybe i need to stop drinking maybe i need to stop smoking like somebody is really trying to hurry up and get it together okay like somebody <laughs> somebody is really having some type of an epiphany that the cycle is over that is closed that they could have very well have lost you Okay, the world also represents travel. Somebody's trying to find out where you're at to come to where you're at. The world. This also represents the World Wide Web with the page of swords. They could be watching you online or waiting until you post something, a picture, something on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatnot, OnlyFans, YouTube, something, whatever is going on, baby. Somebody's waiting and watching on a hope and a prayer. I just heard, child, listen. There's some type of sudden movement, epiphany, if you will, by way of clarity and aha moments. I just heard my spirit guides are hilarious. I freaking love my spirit guides. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody is thinking about the past a lot. You know, it only makes sense since we are in this shadow period. A lot of people are thinking about what it could have, should have, trying to change things that they wish they could have done. Uh, you know, take it as it resonates, but I feel like this door is closed. I think somebody just really needs to focus on themselves instead of focusing on what is it going to take to be able to approach you. Now, if this is a child, there still is a window of opportunity, but you're listening to your intuition even still with a child. Okay. Cause somebody could have willingly put you in some type of situation. Child, these new teenagers are different is all I'm going to say, but somebody sees you winning. I can't make this up. Six of Wands and a Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's thinking about what you told them. Uh, you could have been heavily invested. You got a King of Pentacles, though, coming in here to make it right. I'm going to be honest. There's a King of Pentacles that's coming in to make something right with you. Okay? I'm not going to read the Zodiacs. I'm just going to read the energy because I feel like at this point, it's just important. Seven of Wands, you're standing your ground. This is about virtues. Uh, this is about morals, a moral compass. Like you're not just letting anybody uh, cross that line. I heard whoever wants to come towards you, come towards me. Like you could be saying that, gotta walk through fire. And they're finding it out. They're still coming up as a knight. 
This could be a friend, an ex-lover, a child, whatever. Somebody is still a knight with, with some type of plan, hoping that you still got a little tinge of love for them. Okay, I just heard you'll always love them, but that does not mean that you need to allow them to debilitate you. Somebody thinks that your moving forward has to do with them. It doesn't. It's a delusion of grandeur. Like, no, ma'am, sir, the fact that I've moved on has to do with my divine purpose, okay? Yeah, somebody's like, ooh, I please, I hope this person still got love for me. It's like they're having some type of an epiphany. Nine of Cups, they're still flighty, though. They're still all over the place. Yeah, child, somebody could be jumping in a car, a motorcycle, a boat, a, a motor boat. Take it as it resonates. <laughs> Take it as it resonates. Take it as it resonates. Take it as it resonates. Meanwhile, you're manifesting something and they're trying to manifest something. Try is the key word, but you are manifesting a new beginning. Uh, manifestations are coming in. What, what, what more can I say? The will of fortune. <laughs> the ace of wands in the world. It's a cycle complete. Listen, what more can I say? What more can I do? 618, child. The number eight is real significant. Illusions have been dismantled. You can smell somebody's energy a mile away. And you know their plans before they think them. You have great foresight, great intuition, great discernment, and you are following the Most High God. The fact that you're on your journey uh, is, it could very well be inspiring this person, but I just feel like they're levels behind. They would have to go through a lot to get to your level. Just being honest. This is some beautiful, pristine work. Look at the way the cards are lining up for you with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? And the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Somebody's thinking about contacting you. I think they were playing like some type of immature blame game, thinking like, yeah, you're going to text me, you're going to call me. Child, they've been staring at that phone for years, days, hours, and months. And somebody knows exactly how long, child. It's like watching grass grow. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like watching a pot of water boil, but the fire ain't on, honey. You're just depending on the heat. Listen, somebody is like... For them, things seem to be going fast and slow at the same time. Somebody's ass is all over the place between a rock and a hard place. And that's just a fact. Listen, somebody wants to come in and give you new love, though. That's for sure. Toil and labor. Somebody's working on their money, building up their finances, possibly, uh, to present something to you. You could be working. I feel like you're just working. You're diligent. You're grounded. Your stability uh, it's paying off for you, your passion. Come on, high standards, okay? You're a master. I can't make this up. Look at you. L listen here. Can we have a commercial break? Thank you. Hey, hi, y'all. You're the bomb.com, honey. You're a bag of chips and everything that comes with a bag of chips by way of accoutrements. You're the main course, you are the entree, you are the full menu, you are the full deal. You're the menu that does not have prices on it. There's just numbers. You know, they say if you have to ask how much something costs, then there's a 100% chance you can't afford it. That's who you are, Divine Collective. Ace of Cups, baby, you coming up as divine, very selective of your energy. Oh, how could we forget? Listen, you got new love coming in, Queen of Cups energy. Hi, Queen of Cups. Hey, love. Hi, doll face. D-O-L-L, -L, I love you. You got a doll face and somebody's got a dog ass face. Okay, listen. Somebody got a dog ass face because they was a dog, honey. Anybody rushing in like this impulsively did something reckless in the past that got a door shut in their face that they can't come back through. Whatever door they're knocking on, you have since closed several doors, child. Somebody would have to knock on doors forever and ever to try to get to you and will never find you. This is what I'm feeling. Seven of Wands, you're standing your ground. You're firm. You're, you're fiery. You're caring. You're loving. You're kind. You are the Queen of Cups. You're psychic. You're compassionate. You, your energy is comforting. You're very calm. You're nurturing. Somebody's thinking that. Somebody is kicking themselves square up the ass for not being in alignment with you. And I kid you not, my right hand to source of all things, it is 622 on my clock. 
you are calling in your divine counterpart because you know who you are. This is not a desperate call. It is an attracting call. I'm attracting my divine counterpart. There are no specifics because whatever you're asking for, you understand by way of loving on yourself, you have to be what it is that you're asking for and you know that you're gonna get exactly what it is that you want and what you need. Come through, listen. Ace of Swords, the magician, you're a natural alchemist, you're a healer. You're calm, you're grounded, you're loving, you're compassionate, creative, very spiritually tapped in. Child, you know this person is coming. Four of Wands, what's good? Can we have another commercial break? Did I end the other commercial break? Divine Masculine, hey there. Divine Feminine, you are my sister. I love you. I am my divine sister's keeper. I want to see these beautiful unions come together. I'm celebrating them right now. Listen, love is here. Standing by, love is here. <laughs> Listen, somebody said love is here, standing by. Come through with the come through. And then you got little Mr. Peon and little Miss Peon running to and fro, child, like wicked little somethings with their legs cut off. How you running with your legs cut off? Somebody's running in place, child, running in the same space, only to find out that they're sinking. Why? Because their motives are not pure. They're coming up as a page. Not fully developed. You're a whole queen of cups. A masculine can be a queen of cups. Now, this eight of pentacles is not just you working by way of your apprenticeship. I always have issues with saying that word. Apprentin apprenticeship. <laughs> Whatever you do by way of your passion. This is also about you working on yourself. Love is here. Standing by. Love is here. <laughs> Standing by. Okay, listen. I just feel so much love. Listen. Somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose. Child, Mr. Rush Rush, Mrs. Quick Feet, swift in the ass, got kicked in the ass by the truth, had an epiphany, could have had a dream that you was with another lover. And in the dream, they saw you walking in the rain with somebody else. Y'all was holding hands. And this person feels like they'll never be the same. Three of Swords. This is like, this is like cease and desist. It's a spiritual court type of an issue. Something's been issued by way of the twin flame dynamic, okay? There's a child here, but this child still has some growing to do. So if it's a young adult, 18, 19, 14, 15, hell, 14 in this day and age is a young adult. You know why? Because they're more educated than us. They got more access to stuff and they're a lot smarter. So listen, whatever that circumstance is, that dynamic, Whatever it is, is going to work out. Now, for this full-grown adult, 30, 40, 50 years old, and you still coming up as a page of wands, child, we don't want to see you next lifetime. Don't nobody want to see you next lifetime. Don't nobody want to see you in this lifetime. You cannot approach the throne. I'm going to be honest, of the queen. Somebody's just done way too much work. All shits and giggles aside, temporarily at least. Somebody's done too much self-healing and work, honey, on themselves to be playing around, frolicking, tickling toes with somebody that still is trying to figure out what they are and who they are. Justice is here. Your justice, your good karma is that you get to move forward and you get to be with somebody that's going to love you. Divine masculine energy. Show us this divine masculine. I feel like he's watching. Child, whoever the person is from the, from the past, watch this one. Somebody is lurking in the bushes behind the shadows, Googling you, trying to call people, find you. Uh, they are really losing their mind, okay? There's really no other ways to paint that picture. I'm just going to be honest. As I, too, was sworn into spiritual court and I have to do my J-O-B. Listen, I'm just going to be honest with you. Yeah, look, they going through a whole bunch of stuff. Could be poverty. Okay, could be karma. Just this is where the universe feels they need to be, period, to get some type of lesson. I just saw a really big white shadow just flash past my, my left side. Um, I don't know what it was catching, but somebody is embarrassed possibly that this information is coming out. 
and they can't stop it. They're coming up as the devil. If they're getting readings, their ass is coming out as the devil. If they're going to get readings to find out about you, somebody's like, your ass is the devil. Get your punk ass up out of here. I'm not giving you no reading. I'm being honest. Somebody could be inquiring about you. They're in poverty, but like spiritual poverty. Even if they had a lot of money by way of their flighty energy, their flighty emotions, their inability to heal, the fact that they missed a divine soul contract, they couldn't see it if it slapped the hell out of them in their face. And even when it did, they still refused to see and or heal. I'm telling you, no matter what this person has on a maternal material level, Okay, maternal meaning you're nurturing, okay? Paternal meaning, you know, this person got some issues with their childhood and you came in loving as a mother and a father as most of us do. Not that we wanna be your mama, your daddy, but sometimes we gotta pick up and like ask you, well, are you over your childhood traumas? Okay, listen, that's a whole nother circumstance, a whole nother reading. But no matter what this person had, they had some type of insatiable desire to always want more. It would have never been enough. So the universe is now giving them poverty, a impoverished mindset, okay? Could have had a full bank account with you. It didn't matter. They still would have acted a fool, okay? They got the devil. This is their energy. Clarifying them as a devil. It ain't nothing else to say. So they're embarrassed. Yeah, somebody's embarrassed. This is your good justice, though. This is what's fair is that you get to move forward and have a really good life. This is beautiful. Clarified love is here, standing by. Holy Spirit, love. Hey, Mr. King of Pentacles. Divine Masculine wants to come in and just uh, be with a very honest, divine feminine. Isn't that beautiful? I love that for us. I do. King of Pentacles is King of Pentacles is somebody very grounded, very easy to get along with. Okay, could be wealthy financially, but definitely spiritually wealthy. Uh, you know, somebody that's a leader, somebody that gives good advice, somebody that people listen to, very well respected. This is a character issue by way of being well respected. Not an issue, but uh, a character. What, what, what am I looking for, Holy Spirit? Respect of, of persons, I just heard. Respect of character, not an issue. There are no issues with this person. They have a lot of solutions. And if there is an issue, somebody has really good sound advice because they're grounded. Somebody's connected to nature. Thank you, spirit. Connected to source. It's a good leader. Somebody that's uh, well-respected. This is an easy man to respect because they respect themselves and they respect others. They make good decisions. The reason this person is wealthy financially is because they're wealthy in spirit. Somebody's very rich in spirit, okay? Somebody wants somebody to love them. For, I just heard uh, that song by Heavy D, Love Me For Me. Somebody wants somebody to love them for them, not for what they have. They're watching you. <coughs> Clarify this person. Yeah, somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching you. They feel like you're surrounded by a lot of light, Divine Feminine, the sun. Somebody's watching you do something on an individual effort. Thank you, solo, solo moves. Wow. It's given. I'm good all by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. Clarify, Holy Spirit, what's going on? Because you know I could talk all day. A child. The Hierophant. Somebody doesn't want this for you. So whoever this person is from the past, they don't want you to get remarried. This person could also be divorced. Okay? The both of you could be divorced by way of reading that Hierophant that wanted to come up in the reverse. You both could be divorcees. You both could be divorcees, but somebody wants to be married. Maybe somebody didn't think that they would marry again. Maybe you didn't think that you were married again. I just see somebody solo dolo, somebody like minding their business, loving on themselves, saying if somebody comes along, okay, fine, but I've made peace with myself. The both of you have a very divine union with source. Look at the Ace of Cups, King of Cups, and Queen of Cups. These are two loving and compassionate people. So that lets me know if this person is coming off as the king of pentacles, you too are self-sufficient, independent, like somebody likes that. Neither one of you want to save anybody anymore. You want to be around people that are actively, diligently, uh, one being honest about who they are. You just want to be in good company. Let's get into it. Yeah. 
people that really want to be right and in order, okay, compassionate. So whatever this energy is, the, the world card is letting me know that it's over. Somebody's saying love is here, love is standing by. With that Hierophant in the reverse, though, somebody had a hard divorce. I feel like the both of you. It was a difference in beliefs. The both of you could have exes that want you back or several exes. Child, no, no, no. Clarify, love me for me, Holy Spirit. Yeah, the both of you are very grounded. You both go within. These are two people that meditate, people that are grounded. You go within. You understand your soul's purpose. You've made really good mistakes. You've closed out some good cycles. You know, this is about spiritual introspection. Something about being alone, okay? But maybe wanting to share something with somebody. Yeah, you both have suffered from betrayal. Ten of Swords. Both of you have suffered from betrayals. Nobody gets married to be to be divorced, right? So maybe you just said, I don't, I don't know if I need to get married. You know, that's what I'm getting from two people. But somebody's reconsidering. Somebody sees you as somebody they want to be with. If this is not like a, a you know marriage in the 3D, 633 three on the clock, child, two ascended masters. Listen, if this is not marriage in the 3D, this is somebody that's already connected to somebody in the 5D and above. This is the emperor. I love y'all. This is it. Yeah, look, I can't make it up. This is your person. They're coming in. Look, four of wands. Divine masculine four of wands. Somebody is really like praying talking to their spirit guides whoever this masculine is i feel like he feels traditionally he needs to approach you and you will be receptive to that it's giving yin yang energy it's very traditional uh it's giving chivalry is not dead somebody's really a gentleman okay yeah this is nice so whoever mr page and knight and page and page and you know trying to turn your pages okay forty-one thirty-three on the clock the universe is blocking it this person don't have a chance in hell, okay? They need to go take the lesson and uh, try to figure out where they are in their life. <laughs> but it ain't with you. Listen, love is here. Is that my note? Love. Is that my note? Love is here. Standing by. Love. Is that my note? No. Love is. That's not my note. Love is here. Standing by. Love is here. It's a here. No, that's not my note. That's not my note. That was not my note. <clears throat> they like, Nev, close to read now. I know. This is what I do. When ain't nobody watching, this is what I do. Listen. Love. Hey, this is really what I do when nobody's watching. I just sing around the house, child. I be singing. I say, anybody that come in to love me, they gonna be like, you always happy? I'm like 99.9% of the time. Child, I done been through too much. I've survived too much to be letting the devil take my joy. Shout out to the haters that stop by the platform. Listen, I got time today. Shout out to you. The more you hate, you inspire me to love. Thank you. Thank you. I love y'all. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for the love donations. Thank you for donating love and light to you and your beautiful divine masculine and feminine. I wish you peace, power, protection, and serenity. May the most high be in all of your endeavors and you will strive to provide for the divine as you need to. Okay, my spiritual bar has gotten off right there. Strive to provide providing peace love and light for self and then one another okay join me over at my other platform okay if you want to healing life with positivity 24 7 365 365 and 24 7 4404 you're getting the synchronicities listen i love y'all okay i do i appreciate you the most high knows it i'll see you soon until then peace be with you